Hey, you on Virgo? We're going to um, do a uh, spiritual message and see what possibly comes out from spirit. You may have a choice coming up in some sort of way. Maybe you're walking away from something or walking to something to grow yourself as a soul, but it will take a leap of faith, and that's fair. There is abundance there for you, though, and that's the best way to say that. Yeah, it keeps coming back to that choice. All right, let's have a look here in itself. All right, the only cards we won't flip is the outcome until the end. Okay. And there's the choice. Ooh, whatever, whatever, it's in your heart. Whatever you're wanting to, it's in your hopes, right? Before we even pull the cards, it's in your hopes, offer some sort of love or get some sort of love. You are wishing for the love because that's in your heart. We can see it in your heart, but you have a choice to make. Something in the way of a choice, okay? It's the best way to say that. We'll pull the um, extra cards and see what possibly comes out, but that's the hopes. That's the world in the choice. That's the choice in the world. Yeah, that's the hopes. That's the offering, offering of a shift or a soul. And we can see the wish is the love. It's the wish fulfillment in love in some sort of way. In the thoughts. Oof. And there's the illusions. And there's walking away. We're talking about you walking away to grow from something. Somebody may have ostracized you and left you out in the cold, which you had to walk away for, from because we've got some uh, thinking about a broken heart up there in the uh, thoughts. You can see you walking. See, she's walking here. It took action bear being left out in the cold. She walked from the past and then they continue walking and then walking away. See, some sort of way from whatever illusions in the past because the moon highlights things we can't see because whatever it was was breaking that heart in itself, but it grew you in that mindset, okay? Because, yeah, you're growing in that mindset, but you might have your cup locked away in itself. Very guarded, sitting on that solid foundation, which is fair. Which is fair, but the reading's going in a very specific way at the present moment. Trusting and surrendering to spirit as you lead towards the future is the leap of faith that's needed in, in itself, okay? It's the best way to say it. There's no balance in the past. Like, somebody's juggling you. Oh, put boundaries in place to the past. Oh, oh, three of ones to the three of ones. It shows whatever direction you were, you were divinely guided to plan and walk away because there was no plans there or something just not right. There's no abundance there. Look at this. These go hand in hand with the outcome, okay, because these are unforeseen. Look in the background. See the, uh, the Queen of Cups here? She's got a pentacle in the background there. That's the pentacle. It's like your abundance is your love, okay, because that's clarity for somebody right there in itself. It's coming into the future in some sort of way. The past is about to receive justice for the illusions, justice for the illusions they put into your life. In some sort of way, coming into the future. Yeah, you have to complete it out. You had to complete it out. You had to complete the past out. They're about to receive justice. It's your success that they get the justice for breaking that heart and juggling your mindset with illusions. We can see it grew, but you've got to put boundaries in place of the past because what you walked away from is in reverse. So it shows thoroughly. That's why you're sitting on that solid foundation within your morals and integrity to grow that mind. And then there's the, the divine clarity in itself. It's whatever's in that heart. It's bad luck, man. That's the past. It's like you've got good luck coming into the future, which is your wish, but the past shows bad luck. And choice. The tower moment. Tower moment. Far out. Chaos. Chaos in that world, which is why you had to take the choice to move away, because that's the choice in itself in the world area. This is the reading. That's the world. That's the heart. That's the head. This is the hopes and future. Man, I'm telling you the truth. The nine of cups, you're hoping for love. If Look. See? Nine of cups to love, wish fulfillment to love, and wish fulfillment. And it's in the thoughts of the, the, the hopes, if that makes sense. Where the past is, no wish fulfillment because it's completed out with a tower in reverse, but it does show it was bad luck in itself. There was bad luck there somehow in itself because you were dealing with somebody who was like emotionally abusive. Like somebody who put abuse into illusions in some sort of way, okay? That's the best way to say that. Queen of Cups in reverse is not very nice, man. Somebody's like a drama queen, somebody melodramatic, somebody defensive. Gave you a chance to turn it, tune into your into your positive feelings, which is fantastic. But you're doing somebody overly ambitious with explosive emotion, explosive emotion. They were impatient. And of course, you'd choose to walk away from that world. Somebody controlling or suppressing their emotions. They made you feel insecure. They needed to listen more. They were irrational. 
they were emotionally blackmailing you in some sort of way, but an opportunity for you to take your power back. We can see that as she's getting the justice or he or she from the past year, if she's in reverse, he, male or female is irrelevant, but you can see with suppressing those emotions and controlling something in some sort of way, it's putting illusions and in that water is all that emotion. And we can see the water sitting over here. See us, it's filled with water of that divine feminine in the water there and the, you leading into the future is sitting comfortable in that, in that, um, emotion i can see why you've got your cups locked away because somebody broke that heart that's why and but you are thinking about love because there's love in that heart and i know it for a fact i know it for a fact because she's pondering a thought and she's a very grounded person so it shows that thoroughly i've got three queens here as well so it shows somebody very very in touch with their intuition very very in touch with their creativity okay but you've taken decisive action in that world you are waiting for love you are hoping for love and it is your wish fulfillment to get that love because that's a hopes there's the world with the tower over now because you've made the right choice and taken that decisive action because there was no good luck there in itself. But it does show you from the past that you plan for your future, from the two of wands to the three of wands, bullets into the future. And it does show that. The past is about to receive justice. It's the best way to say that. The three of wands is reverse. It, if it was three of wands upright, okay, which is you walking away here because it's the underlying energies to, the, to these two cards, which is justice to balance out the illusions. But in the past, you've got to put boundaries in place just in case they walk back. Does it make sense? Because three of wands is walking away. You can see it and there's a visual, visual picture. She's walking away and turning her back on something. But three of wands in theirs, so it's like they want you to come back or you or they want to come back or they're coming back in some sort of way. Yeah, you had difficulties working with this person that was selfish. They had their, they pushed their own agendas onto you. you did, they did not trust, it says it, not trusting one, your partner's ability. There was an ego clash. Uh, of course, you would step on your journey from the two to the three to step on. There's an ego clash there. That's why Spirit says put boundaries in place. You couldn't grow with them and it's like caused some sort of fate, fated tower moment. You will wish fulfillment for this person, but they trapped you in the mind with illusions. See, trapped in the mind. That's why you had to walk away, planning to walk away because of the illusions. And there's more moons, more illusions. Spirit in this card there is like on. Look, see the moons, the illusion? Spirit's there to balance that out, which is a temperance angel, watches over your soul and keeps us safe. Right, the man of, somebody was manifesting bad luck into your life. Somebody's ego was clashing for starters. They were selfish, pushed their own agendas, needed to listen more. And there was an imbalance because of the illusions and in which create those illusions created that imbalance because they were pushing their own agenda. Watch this. They're putting fear in your life to block you in some sort of way. You were needing to discern between reality and illusion with linear thinking. Not being able to process a spiritual mystery, myst uh, mystical experience with mental confusion, uh, mis misinterpretation and anxiety. That's what that card is in reverse. And you can see the manipulation there with that harmony in reverse there. It shows disharmony, clashing interests, oil and water. A need to practice moderation. This is all in the past. So a severe imbalance, a severe imbalance. And it's thoroughly right there before we even get to that card because of this, what I'm about to say right here, right now. Somebody was unused potential. Somebody had questionable intentions. There's another card that's saying selfish. Somebody was selfish. There were destructive, self-destructive actions, emotionally abuse, creative uh, blocks with illusion, manipulation, but it gave you a chance to build your self-confidence, which is beautiful. Because uh, the things of the past only lead us to the future. Cold communication, okay, for your abundance in itself, with too much ego, okay, which was hard work in itself. It was just hard work. Very hard work, which is why you had to step on your journey. The fool is zero, zero, because, and they're going to regret it. Look at that. Look at that. You step on the journey as the fool, and they're going to regret it. See that? They're too busy focused on the stupid things in life, sitting there looking at three cups and they couldn't see you as a cup. They could not see you as the love and, and, abund and abundance in their life. Because it's there. They will in the future. I can see that they see you in the future as wish fulfillment. That's why the tower moment's there. That's why the tower moment's there. It's bad luck in itself. Well, it's bad luck. So that's that's why they regret, because of bad luck. So that's what that says. The tower moment's there because of bad luck. You want to play with people's hearts and put illusions into their life? That's why spirit says protect your energy. That's what that is. Protect your energy. The cards all mean things. Be unapologetically yourself, okay? And don't think back to the past because you should be enthusiastic about, enthusiastic about the future because you've walked away from this shit. You've walked away from it to grow that mindset. Yeah, we've got a cups locked away, but of course you would. You're thinking about the, the juggling here because look, even though it's not a card of balance, we can see there's balance. See, the balance was out because it's in reverse. See, 
And it shows no good news because it was pulling on your heart in multiple directions. And see the justice there? That's why they're going to get justice. And that's why it's completed out in the world here. We got the tower and that's why it's completed out from the world to the tower in the world is the tower in between that, the justice. You can literally see how it's a loop. Somebody's putting a loop in your life. It, the thing is, in the future, they're going to see you as wish fulfillment. They should have seen you as a cut. They didn't see you as a cut. Now they're going to be in regret. Does that make sense? Because you're in this beautiful energy at the present moment. I know. I'm. Mean, yes, yes. You're in this beautiful energy. Everything comes down to this. We're bound in place to the past, and you're growing in that mind consistently. But yeah, you do have your cups locked away because of the things in the thoughts in your head. Because you're gaining clarity in life. You are the abundance. They should have seen you as the cut because there it is there, and I can see it there. In if that makes sense, it has been completed out already, and you've planned to walk away because of them. Somebody treated you like an option. Now you've got things coming into your future somebody treated you like be unapologetically yourself okay you should have there's stability coming in okay there's some sort of stability fantasy thoughts pondering and thoughts some sort of way the thing is is you couldn't have the stability with them because they were trapping you in the mind they could not see your worth and somebody who can't see your worth is not valuable to you because at the end of the day they will never ever see that because there will always be disharmony See, that's why you had to release. The hangman is stagnant and needs to be released. That's the hangman there, which is why spirit come along with the temperance angel there and pulled the tower into itself because they were manipulating you in some sort of way so you could heal. See? Look at him in the background of that card, just staring at your heel into the future. Beautiful in itself, but what an idiot. They're going to see you as a wish fulfillment later on, but their cold communication and ego of stabbing you completely in the back with whatever options or manipulation they had in some sort of way that trapped you in the mind with illusion. They should have seen you as an abundance. I don't get it. Does it make sense? But there's the gossip. And, and there's a whole lot of victories of the fighting, manipulation, tricks, the energy. That's what that is. Two-faced individuals. That's why the balance is there and needed balance. Balance with harmony and balance in itself of natural law because of the illusions. That's why you walk away here in itself, okay? And that's why it's completed is so you can have the unapologetic version of yourself, see? And it was hard work in itself, but it does show that you were dealing with a, a devil, a manipulator in some sort of way. Manipulation in some sort of way that couldn't see you as the cup. See, that's why it had to be completed out. It's because of divine inspiration. Now, you're leading into the future because that hollow victories was there, fighting manipulation and stuff like that, which shows that was stabbing you in the back. But it does show you have a divine a blessing coming in into the future. See, and you can trust the divine is bringing that in with the divine guidance there because that's what that is. Trust your intuition. It was hard work to work from this situation because of the sadness. That's why it was so much hard work and that's why we've got healing and release and the completion of that in itself. <coughs> well, we can see that there thoroughly. I can see that they'll regret it because that's a four of cups to the five of cups because you stepped on in your journey. Ooh, two cards at once because look, it's... The success was you to complete it out because the two-faced individuals, we've just seen two faces in a different card. We can see it here and thoroughly like that. See the deception that they put into your life? Because these cards go hand in hand now to the one card. And your success is coming into the future because of their deception. And you should be enthusiastic about that because there's your card there. Enthusiastic leading into the future because you have that cup of love coming. You are hoping for it. It is coming. It's wish fulfillment. And it's divine judgment has been laid, see? Divine judgment's been laid. Protect your energy over the lover's manipulation or whatever it was from the past. Which says to put, to put your boundaries in place, the nine of wands from the past because divine judgment's been laid. Especially around your wish fulfillment because I've just seen the wish fulfillment come under that. <clears throat> divine judgment's been called because of their deception. Their gossip, they mistreated you, the whole of victory, something like that. There's a lot of illusion there. There shouldn't have been an illusion there. They should have seen you as a victory. Does it make sense? A lot of illusions, man. I'm telling you the truth. Divine judge it has seen it thoroughly and there's a tower moment coming into this world for this person because I can see the tower moment coming into that world. That's why Spirit's saying, they're about to receive justice. I'm telling you the truth of juggling you in some sort of way. That's why Spirit's saying, put boundaries in place, okay, and do not allow this person to walk back. Up to you, you have uh, free will. You are the abundance and they can see that. You are wish fulfillment that the tower moment's there. There is a tower moment with bad luck coming for this person. <coughs> And that's divine inspiration for somebody because that's divine inspiration, see? Ace is divine gifts. You're about to receive justice or they're about to, you're about to receive either good justice because that will turn around in that heart for that wish fulfillment and they're going to regret it. And that's your judgment and that's their judgment for the deception which is you getting the wish because there's a star on that card which is the wish fulfillment which is hope. Or they're about to receive really bad judgment I, I'm like it's 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 a tower moment with judgment to to being re in regret. 
Protect your energy. You're on a solid foundation. They couldn't see you as that solid foundation before, so protect your energy, okay? Especially in temperance is coming into balance things out, so it's a time to celebrate. But you have wish fulfillment coming in. I'm telling you the truth. If you take anything, trust the divine is bringing that in, okay? Because they're beautiful cards. The only thing that's out is the deception, but it came hand in hand with the, you getting the success. Other than that, the rest is there. And it does do, do, does put emphasis on why the the moon's there, okay? And that's why the judge is. See justice next to the moon and then moon next to judgment. See justice next to the moon and then moon next to the judgment. You're going to see this person get judgment and they're going to regret what they did to you. See, because of all the bullshit that they put into life. And eventually they see you as wish fulfillment. That's what's that's what's really weird about it. That's the tower moment in reverse. So the tower moment up, all right, if you take it, it falls again because it's not a stability. But you've already walked away from that by making the right choice in itself. And now you have some sort of love that you're hoping for and it's being divinely guided to you because of all the sadness that was hard work to walk away and release. And there's spirit there asking you to release so you can heal and you're healing that beautiful heart over this bullshit here. And that's why you're so elegantly proud to sit there poised and elegant waiting for the justice to come in let's have a look at the outcome and then we'll pull the final cards yeah man look they're gonna see you get they're gonna be in regret man look that's the two of ones there to the three of ones all right yeah and look two of ones three of ones two of ones three of ones and then two of ones so they're about to see you get justice they're about to they're gonna be in big regret that's the best way to say that see this card here it's the same card here see how they're looking out into the they're looking at the three cups here in itself Oh. Be passionate about what you do. What do passionate about your life? All right, this person's about to receive judgment and real judgment at that. Okay, for what they've done, you are, the blessings already been offered to them. They were too busy looking over here, going say, "Oh, hello, birdie, dickhead over here," or "Hello, gossip over here," or "Hello, dickhead." Let's listen to friends, families, all these karmics, and not listen to you because that's why you stepped away. And we can see that there thoroughly. They may be trying to walk backwards. To you, but unfortunately, spirit Scott already got well, the world's edge. Spirit has guided you away from that, so you can be free. See, with the world completion, success, and their spirit guiding you. See, like Zorro in itself to be free. See, complete it out to be free and step on your journey. Okay, if anything you take from that, there's your card, and you've ended it out. And you can trust the divine guidance on that one because there's a victory coming. <coughs> Somebody doesn't want me talking right now, eh? Somebody trying to shut me up out there. And cross watches. I don't like it. Get the fuck off my channel. You have no idea. Spirit really is talking to me right now. There is judgment and justice coming for this person. And they want to play games? Well, unfortunately, they better start surrendering. They wanted to juggle you. They wanted the same card in the head. See? They wanted to juggle you. Now you got ships coming in that are going to make you so happy. It's not funny. They wanted to juggle you. They wanted to manipulate. They wanted to gossip. They wanted to put the trickster energy into your life. With deception. I didn't even see the card under there. It's a deception. That's what they did. That's what they've done. They've deceived you. But you're getting the wish now, which is the star, the sun, the happiness, the positivity leading into the future. See? The other fool on the journey. See? Had to step off. And now that goes hand in hand. These hands go hand in hand with the outcome. We can see the blessing that's been offered. We can see the clarity that you've gained and the victory in yourself. And we can see the full stepping off. There's the dickheads there looking back now wanting to go, oh, I want I want it back now. And spiritually, you've been spiritually guided away. They wanted to play on your mind. And that's why that's there. See, the king of swords is in the world. The king of swords just came there. They wanted to play on that mind. You've taken decisive action into your future and walked away. See, same cards next to it. Walked away. See, spiritually guided. It's the same card in the outcome. You're spiritually guided away. See, it's the same card here. See, because they ostracized you. They put you down. They they really put you down. Gossip, man. Gossip. Just talking shit. Talking shit. Oh, gossip is disgusting. All right. Let's have a look at the future here. I can see beautiful things are coming. Yeah, man. You're free. It's in the outcome. Look, you're free to be unapologetically you. And it's right next to the world card. And it's right next to the emotional tool of the intelligence. You're free to be unapologetically you because spirit has guided you away from their bullshit. Look, I'm telling you the truth. It's there in itself. Yeah, because you learn the trials and tribulations to complete the shit out. And it's time to celebrate. Best way to say that. You have wish fulfillment coming. You have real wish fulfillment coming. And the person's going to see that. And it's unfortunate, but it's bad luck. Protect your energy at the present moment. You deserve the good things coming in, okay? Protect your energy. 
you give and receive to the universe and you have a counterpart coming in, okay, and it's going to offer a cup, okay, and it's because it's you work hard and they're going to work hard with you. They're going to work hard. They're not going to sit there and gossip and put you down. They're going to stand up for you. You made the right choice in that world. They've got a tower moment coming for them. I'm telling you the truth because they broke your heart. See, it's the same cards. Broken heart to the king of swords for juggling. Broken heart to the king of swords. That's the tower. And it puts an emphasis on here with them regretting. Does it make sense? Because in your heart of hope, you're get, about to get a cup of love. I'm telling you the truth. Not only have you got the knight of cups, but the page of cups. They may see you as wish fulfillment now, and they may come back to apologize. Because of all the hard work you've done in your life. There's a wish fulfillment because you healed. See the three swords they stabbed into your back and there's a sword of justice. See the sword of justice there? There's the three swords because you're healed and now you wish fulfillment to this person. See, they're being divinely guided. They didn't realize that it unfortunately doesn't work like that. You snooze, you lose. That should be inspiration for somebody because it's divine inspiration in the corner there. All right, let's have a look at the outcome up here. I can see the fact we've already predicted the whole thing already, but... Man, you should have been seen because these go hand in hand with that. It's the same card here to the same card there. They should have seen you as an abundance then. So now you're manifesting things into your heart, manifesting things into your world. Watch out for the devil, man. The devil was already fucking going to come back, man. The devil may come back to try and fucking lie to you, man. Narcissists are disgusting in that sort of instance to say. You've got to just check something quickly. You need to have courage at this present moment and take a risk. Now, we were talking about a leap of faith before any of these cards come out. Spirit was talking about a leap of faith being needed. You've taken decisive action, which came out. You've walked away, which came out because of the illusions, which came out before you pulled any cards. Anything. Nothing was pulled on this table. Go back to the start and have a look. You're going to need courage at the present moment. You need to be more self-aware. But it's an optimal time for you to build self-confidence. Because this manipulator is going to come back. And they're going to try and deceive you again with more illusions. And that's the tower moment. They come back to do that. Spirit's going to kick that fucking ass up and down the street. There, see? It's the same card here. the same card in the outcome. There, you're not wish fulfillment for this person. You've got wishes coming. And they shouldn't be fucking around with it. You give and receive to the universe and they shouldn't be fucking around with it. It's the best way to say that. Because I've got the magician with the devil with passion. So we can see 100% that's coming back to manipulate you in some sort of way. Because they're just bullshitting you. See? There's you. Cut them down with your morals. Cut them down with your integrity. And that'll be your victory at the present moment. We have ships coming in, okay? They can see that. They can see that you have real ships coming in. The people from the past can see that. They can see the love you're about to get, which is why you get the justice and they get the tower. Does that make sense? It's the best way to look at that. And they stabbed you completely and utterly in the back, friends, family, lovers. I bet it's your success to leave it behind and protect your energy at the present moment. I got conflict. One of these cards, conflict, they should have seen you as a fucking blessing, man. I'm telling you the truth. Look, if you take anything, there's the three cups that they're staring at, the friends and families as they tease you, and there's the abundance that you are because it goes hand in hand with the cards that are already up here in the first place. See, there's that one there, and there's the other one there that goes hand in hand. Thoroughly, they should have seen you. See the three cups, the three of cups? That's what that is, the three cups they're looking at. They should have seen you as a blessing at that stage, but they didn't want to. Or two, yeah, there's the past, man. I'm telling you, that's nostalgia, past. Want to come back because that. They love you now, and they're coming in fast, but they're coming in with manipulation. See that? Coming in fast, the lovers from the past with manipulation. See? I don't understand that spirit sees everything because that's co-creating with the divine, and that spirit seeing everything because you've completed it out, and that should be divine inspiration for somebody. Let me just reverse this deck for a second. I mean, they're coming back with deception. I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, look, it's the same card. They're coming back to offer a cup of love in some sort of way because they see that you're in abundance now and because you're the wish fulfillment for this person. And unfortunately, that's not how it works in life. But, Spirit just said, you have free will. Your choices, your life, your decision. That's the best part about having free will and taking the leap of faith and trusting in Spirit to bring you what exactly what you deserve. So put boundaries in place for whoever ostracized you and put you down that you've had to walk away from. Have a lovely day. Take care and God bless.